So, today is April 26th, and if you know anything about me at all, you know that I, starting about the second week, first or second week of April, every day I take a walk in the woods looking for moral mushrooms. And every year... By about the 15th, I start to find them. But this year, the ground mostly looks bare, like it's still winter time. This has been the craziest year for moral mushrooms. I have really been surprised, actually. that I haven't found any. And basically what I do is I walk around There's actually one right there. Today is April 26th, and I just found the first moral mushroom. Now you can kind of see, this one's out in the open, and it's kind of on a game trail that runs up through there, then runs down through there. And this is what I consider to be my hot spot area. Let's go in and look at this a little closer. This is what I consider to be my hot spot area. And historically, it is the first place that I start to find moral mushrooms. Now, when I find one, what I generally do is I just kind of sit here for a minute and I look around because what you'll find is as you are sitting on the ground, your perspective of the area changes. And I very closely scan. I very slowly and closely scan the ground because if you find one, you generally always find two. So, what speed do I scan? Well, I'm scanning at about this speed, but I'm actually scanning up and down with my eyes, even though the camera is going right to left. Because it's very easy to miss moral mushrooms. They're camouflaged. Everything on the ground is that color. And they can hide underneath of leaves. Now I'm going to leave that one there right now. Because I want to find that tomorrow too. If they're not up in huge numbers, I don't want to start collecting them. I mean, I could take one moral mushroom up to the house. And be like, oh, I found a moral mushroom. But you know, I kind of look at it like if I ain't got a whole bag of them. I'm not going to waste my time. Not only that, if you over harvest an area for moral mushrooms, you will reduce the amount you collect in subsequent years. So keep that in mind. I don't necessarily always take every one I find. Now another thing that I do every year when I do find moral mushrooms is I create a moral slurry that I then go and dump out so that I can reseed the area. Now I've got a video on making a moral slurry and I'll post it in the comments. But basically what you do is you take a moral mushroom and you break it into small pieces and you add it to some water with some molasses so that it's got some sugars and then you aerate it with an old 
or even a new if you want to go buy one you aerate it with either a aquarium pump or something similar to that something that creates bubbles for 24 hours and that causes the spores to multiply they interact with the sugars and they multiply and what that does is the next day you then take let's say you have a gallon of water in one moral mushroom you then take that gallon of water and you dilute it about 20 to 1 and once it's diluted you just take that water through the woods you have to do it that same day no matter what the temperature is if you make you you can't let it go 36 hours you can't even let it you know it's it's that time critical so if you make a moral slurry you have to use the water at 24 hours old <laughs> the very next day you you can't go and just wait a day or two or three i know there's people that have told me they've made it and i had success and i kind of think that's probably why anyways you basically just you dilute it 20 to 1 and then you walk through the woods and you dump the water out somewhere maybe a pint or a quart just dump it wherever i usually just take and i'm gonna be honest with you like assume that this is like a glass of water and it's clear full this is what i do and i just toss it all over the woods like that just wherever <laughs> wherever it lands is where it's at so then by doing that what you're doing is you are always ensuring that moral mushrooms will come back doesn't necessarily mean they'll come back that year or even the next year but eventually you start finding moral mushrooms in those areas where you threw those spores and if you wanted to create a moral mushroom bed like i have done which i already checked and doesn't have any morals in it yet <laughs> um i've got a video on that too so kind of what i'm getting at is there are all kinds of ways that you can go and look for morals you can inoculate moral mushroom spores if you find at least one moral and you can also create a moral mushroom bed now one thing about morals is they're very particular about the ground temperature you will never find a moral mushroom unless the ground temperature is right around 41 degrees and another thing is too if the ground gets too hot too quickly you won't find moral mushrooms so it kind of has to get in that temperature area and then it also helps if you just had a rain now we had a rain yesterday but it had been like nearly 80 degrees for two or three days in a row and i really wasn't expecting to find any mushrooms today because i kind of felt like it got too hot too quickly and that was just going to cause the ground to warm up too fast and there just wasn't going to be any more mushrooms so i was really surprised to find even that one so we're about nine minutes into this and as you can see i have not found even another one i've looked to this is what i consider to be my hot spot area and i've not even found two kind of concerning but the nice thing is the temperature for the next two or three days is actually going to be cooler that could have a positive effect and if i do find more moral mushrooms after that temperature drops i will let you know and probably create a video of it too i would really like to have a video where i'm just walking through the woods finding moral mushrooms you know by the trash bags full 
but today is not that day it seems <laughs> um, I do have one other area up here I'm gonna check I am fairly close to my house I'm actually just literally right next to my house I don't want to say which part of my house somebody come up here and try to steal my moral mushrooms when they think I'm asleep and they'll get their selves in trouble um so why would someone try to steal your moral mushrooms well for the last couple years they've been averaging about four hundred dollars a pound dehydrated now it takes a lot of moral mushrooms to make a pound here's my actual bed that I recorded in that video that I'll link to but nothing up here yet um, so anyways about four hundred dollars a pound for dehydrated moral mushrooms now how many moral mushrooms does it take to make a pound dehydrated a whole lot <laughs> a whole lot I don't even want to even think about how many it is because it's a whole lot however I don't sell them I buy them or I <laughs> I don't sell them I find them just enough that I need for one year of making soups and stews and then I dehydrate the ones that I find and then I use that in like my chilies and that sort of thing so when I get to the limit that I need I stop collecting them because again if you over harvest moral mushrooms you won't have any in future years so it's kind of important that we save some for other people so as you can see they're not up in huge numbers we've already literally walked through a huge portion of these woods right here and not even found one more so but with it cooling down and with us getting rain yesterday I think there's like a 20% chance of rain tonight also so there's always a chance that tomorrow could be better and I'll bring you along for that ride and uh, we'll just have to wait and see how it goes anyways 13 minutes as always God bless you God bless your families God bless your homesteads don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button.